Hi everybody, David from Living Tech here. One of our subscribers is called TopFit and they recently sent us a box of their products to review. So not just one or two, I think there were 15 products in here or something. I'm super excited about that. Uh, they are almost all Tesla specific and the remaining ones are Tesla compatible. So let's see what's inside. The first thing, of course I opened the box before I shot this video, but anyway, the first thing is what TopFit calls a, I wrote this down, uh, a, a waterproof pet cargo cover for pets, a pet seat cover for cars, easy to install, fits in most autos, SUVs, trucks, and vans. So I'm looking forward to uh, installing this because we have a little dog and it would be fun to give him a little condominium in the back of it. Our Model X. We have some door guards for when you open your car and you don't want to uh, uh, dent your, you know, your door as it hits another car or a wall. What else is in this box? Okay, these are carbon fiber. They stick on to the door handles or the door buttons. Sorry on the Tesla Model X. So I think that's going to be easy install. This is sort of a must-have if, if you've done a chrome delete, uh, if you've gotten rid of all the chrome on your vehicle and replaced it with black. Uh, this looks super cool. Uh, I'll see what it looks like with the rest of our, car, uh, of our vehicle in chrome. Uh, I think it'll look good though. Uh, we already have carbon fiber accents, so I think this will go nicely. So put those on later. Okay, so this is uh, what they call a shadow light. And what it does is the lights that are underneath the front doors shine onto the ground. So getting into the car, you can see puddles or whatever. Um, the, these replace those LEDs and instead they project a, a Tesla logo on the, uh, on the pavement as you're getting out. That might be sort of cool, we'll see. Okay. So actually, I happen to already have this identical uh, key fob, and uh, you know I'll show you how to put that on. But uh, actually, my wife and I both have them. Mine's black, hers is pink. Um, so I, I I know how that this one works already. Seems like it's the same size. It's the other one. Maybe it's another one. Nope. Okay. I'm gonna open this one in a second because. I think this is uh, identical to the other one, but just a different color. Yeah, okay, so it's the same one, but in red. I think you can see that probably. Um, just slides over your key fob. Uh, this one, I put it aside because it's also a key fob, but different. This actually looks pretty cool. Um, yeah, okay, it's what I thought it was. So it's a hard case for your, sorry, it's got these um, rubber things inside, but it's a hard case for your key fob. Uh, and presumably this comes apart, so you can shove your key fob in and then close it back up. Uh, so we will uh, see how that fits on our key fob. Um, yeah, I think that's gonna be good. And then, along with it, it's got this, Pretty cool leather sort of ring. I like it because it's it's got this um, it's got this sort of screw mechanism. I'll uh, probably put an inset photo, but it's pretty neat. It looks pretty high end. Yeah, looking forward to trying this. Put that back for now. So the next box actually has top fit on it. Okay, yeah, so these are hangers that go, uh, the, the, the covers for the back of the front seats are uh, just black plastic, and these go on the, on the back to, um, so that you can hang, sorry, I'll pull this out, so you can hang hangers from it. It's actually quite useful. I have, uh, um, 
you know, I have used the vehicle uh, when I had a suit jacket and I just ended up uh, laying that on the seat because there's no other way to hang things. So I'll okay, we'll come back to that. Okay, these are particularly cool. These are uh, covers for the accelerator and brake. So they're aluminum with, uh, it looks like foam on the back, rubber and also, yeah, I think just foam on the back. Uh, rubber on the back, I should say. Or synthetic of some sort. Okay, this one, I, I had opened the box before, so I, I knew uh, what I was going to be uh, pulling out. This one, I didn't understand what it was at first because they call it um, um, they call it top protection. I, I, I didn't understand the name, but uh, basically it sticks on the steering wheel and uh, as you can see it's carbon fiber, so it probably has a slightly upgraded look uh, to it. My thing with all these upgrades is I don't like it to look too uh, aftermarket generally. I like it, I think the car looks classier when it's, uh, when it's original, so I don't often have too many uh, fancy things um, sticking on everywhere. Okay, so this one I was I'm really happy is in this box. It's a wireless charger for your phone. Uh, if you have the Tesla Model X, um, the, the center console, the part on the uh, on the front side between the two seats, you slide it open, you slide the carbon fiber or the plastic door open, sort of on a spring, and uh, you normally see two cup holders and then a little compartment in the back of that. Uh, the space above the cup holders, uh, if you're, especially if your cup isn't tall, it's, it's not really used, so there's about that much space. Uh, that's that's free. Um, so this sits on top of that, and um, I don't know if it's if you took the. It's got a lip here. I'm just sort of thinking out loud here. It's got a lip here, so I'm guessing that whether or not you have the uh, coffee um, uh, inserts in, uh, that this will uh, still be able to work uh, as uh, as you think it's going to. So it's got uh, the wireless charger. It's got a coin slot and seems to also come with um, a USB to 12 volt adapter for your cigarette lighter. I'm wondering if you even need that. Um, I'd rather just be able to plug it straight in. Um, but we'll see. That's what the install parts are for. Okay. Um, What's this? These look like they are, they say Model X on them, and they're carbon fiber. Uh, unlike the door handle ones, these are sticker material. They're not, uh, you know, they're not actual pieces of carbon fiber. Um, so it I'm guessing that these go uh, on your door sills. Um, Right now there's no protection on those, so a lot of people complain that the aluminum gets scratched and it's like black, but it's probably anodized aluminum or something, black anodized, and it gets scratched and people don't like that. So uh, I imagine this will uh, protect it. So we'll see. Um, comes with shop towel type material and it comes with a squeegee and that often helps when you're, when you apply the, um, uh, the sticker to get the air bubbles out. And this one, uh, same thing, uh, maybe just a different, uh, I think it's the same thing, uh, maybe just a different um, shape. Uh, so anyway, we'll see how that installation works. I think I'll probably do that one. What are the, oh, what's this? Okay, so this is the package. This goes under the center console. There's like an open area there. And a lot of people have complained that when they put things in it, um, there's, 
the, those things don't stay. So if you accelerate quickly, as we all know, the Model X has amazing acceleration. Uh, your objects want to stay behind, which means they fall out. Um, and so this is a drawer that fits in. It's it's felt covered. Feels like it's uh, wood underneath felt uh, on top, but then in the front it's leather and it's actually really nicely done. I'm, uh, I'm really impressed. I saw it online and I thought it might not be, uh, it would be, it'd look a bit cheesy, but this doesn't, this looks very good. Um, I don't know if this, uh, you can sort of appreciate what I'm talking about. I mean, it's just square, I know, but, uh, Inside looks nice. The bottom is also felt like a velvet sort of thing. I didn't mean felt. Uh, it also feels pretty rock solid for me. So anyway, let's. Uh, they sent another duplicate in here, so I won't uh, bother opening that. So let's uh, let's go into the garage and start installing some of these things. Should be fun.